Ford has avoided any fancy touring or sports tourer badging, preferring instead to call its Focus Estate an estate, perhaps hinting that it's more than just a lifestyle choice and a car that really means business. Let's see if it does what it says on the tin. Ford has high hopes for its load lugger, expecting it to account for 18% of all Focus sales, up from 12.5% since it first went on sale in 1998. This bullishness is mostly down to the car's stylish new looks, which Ford believes will broaden its appeal to customers who may have found the previous Focus estate to be a little on the boxy side. But who chooses an estate over a hatch? Logically, anyone who has a practical need for more carrying capacity than a regular hatchback can offer, like, say, a sales rep or someone with a growing family. So how does it stack up? Well, it's 20 centimeters longer than the five door with 10 centimeters more width between the wheel arches and thus offers a maximum load capacity of 1500 liters with the rear seats folded. So that should tick the box for the fleet user. And even with the rear seats upright, it would easily stow the largest of buggies in the boot. But otherwise, I found the family accommodation wanting. Rear legroom is merely adequate, but the sloping roof line and angled C pillar make access to the rear uncomfortable or even downright awkward if you're trying to lift a toddler into a child seat. Up front, it's a different story. The focus feels extremely well put together and noise levels are kept to a minimum. In the driving seat, all is right with the world. The latest Focus is the most refined to date, with trim and materials that seem to come from a class above. The ride is smooth and unruffled, and the steering well weighted, with just enough feedback through the chunky rim to ensure that you feel connected to the tarmac. Our test car is powered by the 150 PS 1.6 litre EcoBoost turbocharged petrol engine, which delivers sufficient punch for swift and safe overtaking. The six-speed manual transmission enables precise changes, and the ratios are well-spaced to help you get the most out of the Focus's tuneful engine. And that means 0-62 in just 8.8 .8 seconds, and a top speed of 130 miles per hour. Despite the almost hot hatch-like performance, the economy figures stack up rather well, with 47.1 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and CO2 emissions of just 139 grams per kilometer. Priced from £17,100 on the road, the all-new Focus Estate comes well-equipped with digital radio, Bluetooth and USB connectivity, voice control of key convenience features, and Ford's easy fuel system to prevent misfueling. Our Titanium X test car costs just over £22,500, but adds quite a few extra toys including park assist, dual zone climate control, auto headlights and rain sensitive wipers. So is it the car for you? Well that really depends on what you expect from an estate car. If you only need the extra load space every now and then, the Focus Estate is a peach. It's refined, loaded with kit and drives beautifully. But if your focus is on transporting your family in comfort on a regular basis, you may find it falls just a little short.